I waited for this collab to re-release for so long. I love Rimuru, and when I started playing Epic 7, I saw there was a Rimuru unit, and people kept saying, oh, dude, this is gonna come back soon, it's gonna come back soon. It took so long. I really wanted Rimuru, and it came back yesterday. We're gonna be pulling for him. I really, really wanna max him out. It's just one of those characters I really wanna max out. Unfortunately, I did one multi off camera and pulled him. Now, that's unfortunate because obviously I wasn't recording. Uh, I was actually with my friend Crass, which got shafted on the banner. He was very pissed. There are two characters from this collab currently out. There is a Milam as well, which I also pulled in the first multi. He was livid. And there's a Benny Maru coming out, which I will also be summoning for once that actually comes out. I don't know if I'm going to be recording. But Rimuru is the one I really want to max out. Um, so let's do it. If you haven't seen any of my other Epic 7 videos, I've been playing this game, you know for like some time now and it's pretty good i like the game right now it's a little dead so i haven't been as consistent with it but i think that the whole wow nice i mean i did technically speaking rimuru was my last multi so having two dead multis in a row makes sense but that's just very <laughs> very unfortunate to see um i've been playing the game casually kind of for a while because i got to the end game and for me to upgrade my characters in terms of gear now will take so long uh, as a four star that you know it's, it's really hard to uh but i really like the game and i've seen a lot of, a lot of people that you know comment my videos on you know i've played epic 7 for years or that they started playing epic 7 since like my first epic 7 video and they really like it it's just one of those games that you can be free to play and casual on and not feel too pressured, I feel like. Um, just, you know, I like having other games I'm just casual on. Right now I'm playing like a lot of Star Rail, but the game just came out, so there's a lot to do. You know, I just hope that that game ends up becoming Epic 7 for me, where I'm, I just play casually, and I, I do my guild stuff, and uh, Rimuru is a character I... Wanted it for so long because he's so good for guild uh, guild uh, battles, so good for guild wars. He's so good for uh, just regular PvP as well. And um, I have already the build for him. Just be I just been waiting. You know what I mean? I've been waiting for so long. It's a oh, I hope it's his artifact. Is it? It's not his artifact. That is unfortunate. I really want his artifact as well, but. You know, if you play Epic 7, let me know if you pulled for Imru or if you're going to wait for Benny Maru. Because right now, he is really good. The game is like, he is really good, but he's not like top, top, top tier. So maybe there will be players skipping. Oh, I think it's... Is it him? It has to be... It's only one five star. Nice. It's only one five star in the banner. What do you mean is it him? <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh. Oh, and the artifact. I think it has to be, I, I couldn't skip. No, it's another artifact that I don't have. What? Okay. Nice. This makes for one dupe. Technically, I need three more, but I have, um, I have the dupe stones, which I really wish other games had, like Grand Cross had dupe stones. You know, what can you do? As a, for a collab character, it's definitely worth using dupe stones on because, you know, When's it going to be the next time they're going to come back, right? Probably years, right? So using a dupe stone on a collab character is definitely worth it. I'm definitely going to be maxing out Rimuru. He's just so, so good. And the animations for when he came out, which was uh, a year and a half ago, I think. Still so good. For a character that came out a year and a half ago, he's still so good. All oh, these, these sounds go through really quick because if it's not a five star, the multi gets instantly skipped, essentially. Yeah, if there's no 5-star, just... Ooh, no. The multi goes instantly skipped. There is no pause whatsoever. Like on Grand Cross. You know, if I... Oh, Rimuru! Oh! I kind of skipped. I, di I didn't see the... Um, the woman popping in. Not bad, actually. We didn't do one more multi. Oh, please be the artifact. I don't want to buy the artifact. Nice. It, I'm, I'm probably going to use Proof of Valor on him. Not his own artifact. But 
It's really nice to have, so I'll take it. Oh, I can I can walk. How many how many am I at? So I got two dupe stones. I will not be using them right now, right now. But you know, it's like oh man, I really wish Grand Cross had dupe stones. Although to be fair, Epic Seven pulling dupes is way harder than the Grand Cross because you only pull a five star in their banner, right? You can only pull a five star in this game if they are featured. So for example, I know this unit right here, right? Unless I pull her from the general banner, which is awful, you should never pull in that banner. I'm only gonna pull her when her banner is out. She's never gonna be like unfeatured in, let's say, this unit's banner, right? So pulling dupes on this game is way harder. So definitely having a dupe stone is way more necessary. But you know, I think every game should have it. It's just, it's just so good for characters that, especially mo moments where you just cannot pull more than one copy because you're in a pinch multiple banners in a row you know how it is right no we're in the other shaft i have no more currency i was saving for this collab a little bit oh we have uh one mystic single i didn't save as much as i wish i had to be honest because they dropped like this custom banner not not this one but the actual like regular character custom banner and i really wanted to pull this Guiding Light Artifact, if you don't play the game. But if you do play the game, you know, Guiding Light, right? Needed Guiding Light. <laughs> One of the most necessary artifacts in the game. So, really had to pull it. And I got super shafted, so I didn't save as much as I wish I did to pull more Rimuru's. But I'll take what I have for the, for the ones that aren't going to play the game, but are interested because they like Rimuru, how the animations look like. I'm going to show real quick i think i just click here in preview skills can't wait to use him honestly he's a character that is built to be bulky which i don't usually like but the way he works is really nice because he does um stacked or he does fixed damage on top of the damage so when he does his ult for example It shows 10, but it's supposed to be 10,000 in the game. Also, defense break, which lowering defense in this game actually matters on like Green Cross. <laughs> and the fact that he is like such a such a cuck, I was going to say counter, but such a cuck to so many teams with his S2. It pained me for so long having to face this guy so many times because he is in so many defense teams. And now I can use him. Milam, though... I, I think she's also good, but she ain't Rimuru. Like, she's, de she's like, random. She has counters, like, random chance of counters. So she can't be as good. So, if you never played Epic 7 and you're interested... This is not a sponsored video. <laughs> but I know a lot of people that have started playing and like it. And listen, if they want to sponsor me, I will make a sponsored video. I like the game. Um, right now, the, the slime collab is going on. So... This, these characters are not going to come back for a while. I missed out on Ed from Full Metal Alchemist, and I don't really like Full Metal all that much, but it was such an exclusive character, and he's, like, amazing. If you miss out Rimuru right now, he's not coming back for a while, and if you're not doing anything, maybe you'll start playing Star Rail right now, so not a good time, but hey, give it a shot. Reroll for Rimuru. Probably worth it.